Previously on McLeod's Daughters. left me in charge. Me. Becky Howard, the loser who can't read properly. Don't say that. I need you to pick up the horses. Why would I want to do that when they're doing so well with... Today. About six. Look, Claire, it doesn't have to be this way, OK? See you today. If we can just... About six. Claire, we can just talk about this. I'm sure we can sort... Packers that came yesterday, started my breeding program. The two neutered males. Yeah, I'm getting a free service for them. They're helping return that stolen alpaca. Ooh. What about your breeding program? Well, that was with uh, Australian bloodlines, Tess. Yeah, but you wanted to train and breed horses long before Peter came along. Yeah, well, AB will have replaced me by now. There'll be no horses left to train. Yeah, but we haven't heard anything about a new trainer. Because I've been trying not to. Look, I know you don't want to run into Peter, but he's probably in Queensland by now. Yeah, you're right. He's probably miles away by now. Come on. Well, it's the same deal as before, Harry. It's a five-year contract for horse training and stud development, and it's all funded by Australian Bloodlines. Let's discuss this inside. Take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. Have you lost your marbles, Dad? Have you forgotten what he did to Claire? Yeah, it was unforgivable, but this is business. This is very good business. Yeah, it's very good business to sign ourselves up with someone we know is a cheat and a liar. Hey, hang on. We got a contract to stop them doing that. Yeah, fine, Dad. It's business, and it's a lot of money. Doesn't mean I have to like it or do it, right? Listen, Alex. Desperate men have to take what they can get. So desperate men get shafted by smart people who know when they got the upper hand. I will go to Stan Dixon's. He will give Brave Jay back to me to train. Well, Stan can be a bit difficult. Maybe I should try someone else first. Ah, uh -uh, so was Egypt. Did that stop Napoleon? I don't know, did he? If you want to win this battle, you have to march towards the front, head on, guns blazing. <laughs> what are you, my first lieutenant? If I have to be, now go forth and conquer. The feed orders. I should do the feed orders first. Well, Becky can do that, can't you, Beck? No, no problem. Good luck. Right. G'day, mate. <laughs> Good to see you again. You're looking good. Hey, you. Claire. Didn't realise it was you. Sorry, Stan. Should have come up to the house first. Just wanted to say hello. Looks like he's missed you. Yeah. Uh, that's um, kind of why I'm here. Uh, just uh, wondering if you had any other horses you wanted training. 
I mean, I know Aussie Bloodlines has taken care of Brave Joe. I wish. Been promising me a new trainer since you quit. But all I ever get is the runaround from Peter Johnson. He can't find another trainer. Which means I've got a half-trained horse that's no use to anyone. Pity you can't finish a job you started. Yeah, yeah, real pity. Oh, well, what about your other horses? They're in breach of contract for this. Which means I'm free to use someone else to finish the training. So how about it? Looks like you've got yourself a deal, Stan. Look, all you have to do is compare the number of stock you have in each paddock with the dry feed we have on hand according to that, right? Jodie, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I know what to do. I just can't read Claire's writing. OK. So, we've got Skinny Jim's, Bald Hill, Little Regret, Jack's Fault. You know what? This would probably just be quicker if I did it myself. I promise you only have to explain this to me once and then I will colour code everything and I'll remember it next time. You know, it'd just be easier if you explain to Claire that... What? That her leading station hand is a moron? You're not. And Claire would never think that. No, because Claire is never going to find out. OK, so this is Skinny Jim's. And there's a little regret, so this must be what livestock down here. Yep. Hi. Hey. Oh, you're busy. I'll come back no, no, that's OK. Time. What did you want? Well, my two female alpacas arrived yesterday and the stud that's servicing them is due tomorrow, which means they're going to need some kind of shelter for when they're pregnant. Right. It's very important. Well, no, it's really just your average kind of lean-to shed, well, I it's guess. It's not. It's the start of your breeding program. That's right. So, we're not talking a one-person knock-it-up-in-a-couple-of-hours shed, though, are we? No, 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 this is definitely... a two-person job. So you want it to be built properly? Yes, I do. So this can wait? No problem? Great. What did I tell you? Power of positive thinking. Yep. All you need to do is tell me that I'm a short 200-year-old French man and I can do anything. Yeah, but it still worked. I wonder how Napoleon rewarded his lieutenants. He let them breed alpacas. So, what's for lunch today, Meg? Peking ducks, sesame pancakes, bamboo shoots. Really? Sandwiches, Tess. Same as always. All right, it's just that Nick's coming over to help me build my alpaca sheds and he might want something a little heartier. I could have helped you. Oh, no, you're too busy. Making sandwiches. Needed a man's touch, eh? Don't be silly. He's got experience building things. Screws, not nails. That's what he said. They last longer. Right. And our cordless drills on the link. Is it? The well, bottom line is you won't find a better trainer than Alex, which makes me think the figures in the contract were a bit low, actually, Peter. Look, Peter. Make this contract worthwhile, while, mate. We're going to have to look at a 10 percent increase in earnings at least. Sure, sure. No problem. Um, don't worry, Stan. Not about to lose, Alex. You should have told me about this a couple of hours ago, Peter. I'm so sorry. Peter's found a new trainer. What? I had no idea. I thought I could offer you the job no problem. And suddenly he's turned up with the Ryans. What, you're the new trainer? What do you mean you still want the job? Stan and I have an agreement. I'm here to pick up Brave Jay. No, Stan, you've got a contract well, with Claire, us. I had no idea, I swear. Well, you weren't doing much about it, so I thought I should make my own arrangements. I'm sorry. Bad timing, what can I say? Yeah. Well, that's that then. Look, Claire, hang Look, on a minute. I think you've done enough damage already, mate. All right. Alex, we got a deal to discuss. Now what? Is he in or is he out? Are you going to lose me another trainer? No, don't worry, mate. It's just a misunderstanding. Right, so the deal's a deal.
you just listen? I had no idea you were interested in the contract. Well, Claire. you could have asked. Well, at last I knew you quit. It would have been nice if you'd warned me that, that you were going into business with my ex. Claire, it all just happened today, OK? I made a fool of myself in front of everyone. OK, well, we'll back out now. The job's yours. Alex, we both know you wanted this contract from day one. Well, now you've got the chance to prove that you're better than me. Yeah, right. That is absolute crap and you know it, Claire. You know, you do something you had no way of knowing was wrong. I still won't forgive you for it. What, last week's girlfriend bumper to this week's? Yeah, howdy how, mate. What's all this for anyway? This is shit. Sounds good. Which dump we fixing up first? It's on drivers. For Tess. So what do you want, Alex? Tess can't build a shed by herself. She needs my cordless. You can't trust her with it, right? It's not just any old shit, Alex. Apparently not. Anything you want to tell me about Nick? Is there anything you want to tell me, since I figure you're not here just about sheds? Right, eh? Dad and I had taken on the horse training contract Claire walked away from. Only it turns out she hasn't. What? Exactly. How was I to know she wanted back in on the whole deal? Well, did you warn her you're going to be working with the Rex? Oh, get away, Nick. It's business, not personal, right? <laughs> but I am going to screw Peter Johnson for every last cent I can get. So Dad told you that to make you feel better, did he? Come on, Alex. There's only one answer. It's mutiny. See. Some of us actually break away from the old man. And some of us just talk about it. What happened? Alex is training grave, Jay. What? Why? Becky, did you get those feed orders done? Yep. I hope you don't mind, Good, because I... I need to get the rain gauges checked and logged and we need to get ready for drenching. Sure, not a problem. Um, Claire. I'll take care it's of it. Right. I'll deal with it. What do you want? Why did you tell me you were still interested in the training contract? I never would have approached the Ryans. But nothing's signed yet, so it's not too late for it you. It is. I don't want to work with you. Claire, think about it, please. Don't throw something away this big just because. How's your wife? I haven't seen her in weeks. I've asked for a divorce. You need to go now. I love you. I want to be with you. Well, I don't want to be with you. I don't love you. I don't think about you. Whatever we had is over. You're out of my life for good. You're still wearing it. You don't give up, do you? Mate, whatever you think, it's wrong. What, you mean you weren't married? You all think you're such good friends telling Claire what a scumbag Peter Johnson is. I couldn't is, have put it better myself, mate. Yeah, well, why don't you tell her this? Tell her nothing else matters to me besides her. My family, my job, my career. I'd lose a lot if it meant I got her back. So what did he want? Have you logged that rain for me? I've got to get the sheep in for drenching tomorrow. It wasn't much, just a couple of minutes. Well, it still needs recording. You know, last month's too. You did tell him where to go. What have you put them in this column for? We need to start a new month. I'm sorry, I forgot. Claire! It only adds up to six mils, Becky. It's not brain surgery. He got to you, didn't he? I've got sheep to muster. You should never get back with an ex. You break up for a reason in the first place, and that reason's still going to be there if you get back together. Well, maybe not. You don't think anyone can learn from their mistakes? Why are you sticking up for Peter? I'm not. I'm just asking you. 
If you really love someone, well, you don't think they deserve a second chance. One strike and you're out every time, eh? Well, I wouldn't want to go through what Claire's gone through, no. So you're after someone who's perfect, without any baggage at all? There's a difference between a little bit of baggage and a whole truckload. It doesn't have to be perfect, Tess. As long as it feels right. Well, let's get this up, then. Well, Stan Dixon's happy to go ahead, so Peter's bringing the contracts around in the morning. I won't be signing them. Alex, if I refuse to work with every bloke I don't get along with, we'd have no feed delivered, we'd have no stock moved. Yeah, that's how to run a business, Dad. That's not how I want to run my life. You see, I like having friends, Dad. And I want to keep the ones I've got. Doesn't seem to bother you so much because you don't seem to have any. I've got a whole address book full of people. Yeah, that you have. Counselors, Cattle Breeders Association. It's all just business. I mean, can you drop around and have a drink, a laugh, and let off a bit of steam with that mob? I don't think so. All right, Alex. I'll leave you to explain all this to Peter. Will you accept it as offer? You can unaccept it. Right back, Roy. <laughs> She's right. Don't start, Tess. I'm not. Mom, I'm not. Whatever you decide to do about Peter, it's okay. Just do what your heart tells you to do. As opposed to what my little sister tells me. Back, Roy. As astounding as it may seem, I don't have an answer for everything. You are still in love with him, aren't you? You'd have a problem with just hiring some guy to have sex with. Yeah, but I'm not an alpaca. No, you're an alpaca pimp. Ronaldo is a $200,000 pedigree start. Not one cent is changing hands. Well, that's even worse. That's like being a groupie who only sleeps with famous people. Excuse me, what is the difference between servicing alpacas and servicing horses or sheep? You name them, Tess. You treat them like your children. And now you're lining up blokes for them. You guys are sick. I haven't even named the females yet. But if I did, it would be something Spanish, like uh, Isabella. Not again. Ah, Notabella. Again. Yeah. Uh, I don't need any dinner, mate. I've got to head into town for a while. Oh, cool. Can we all go? Because, you know, we haven't had a night at the pub in ages. Oh, no, we can't. Why not? Uh, because dinner's nearly ready. And I promise to wax your legs and the offer is only good for tonight. Oh, great. So I get to stay home and look good or go out and be hairy. Life's cruel like that. you said earlier about the contract. Yeah. And me. I can't work with you, Peter. Not after everything that's happened. Well, I'll quit. This was a mistake. Look, wait, Claire.
Morning. Breakfast in bed. I have to go. What do you mean? I woke up, you weren't there. Yeah, look, I was just making you a cup of tea, that's oh, all. God, I feel sick. No, what do you mean? Because I wasn't here. Yes, because I saw what my life could be like. Waking up every morning in an empty bed and wondering every time if that meant that you were with someone else. Oh, look, I, I would never do that you to you. You did it to your wife. And I'm sure you felt really close to her once. That's, see, look, that's the point. I've never felt this way. I still have to know that I can trust you. Look, you can. I don't know how else I can see. You can't! Yes, it was a mistake. For God's sake, why can't you forgive me for it? I don't know what I can't. I'm sorry. But it's over. For good. so hard on yourself, Claire. Well, that's it. It's over. I'll be down in ten minutes for the drenching. Ronaldo's coming to service the alpacas. Drenching first, okay? Is that drench gun set up yet? Yeah, just about ready. Hey, Claire, um, I'm really sorry about yesterday, you know, stuffing up the rain. Forget about it. Let's just get the drenching done. That's not what I ordered. So long as it works. That's not the point. When I order something, I expect to get it. I'm going to ring the supplier. Claire, I can handle the drenching. I know you've got a lot of other stuff on your mind. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Bill. Slept with him, didn't she? Yep. Biggest mistake you can make. Look at me and Kevin. I've never slept with an ex. Oh, you're smarter than us. I've just never been out with anyone long enough to make them an ex. Why do it? Why torture yourself? Because you set your eyes on him and your brain goes out the window. Yeah, we all think we're sophisticated, intelligent beings, but really we're just like any other animal. We'll buy pheromones and hormones. Beer and beer. Gonna make a start on lunch. Oh, can you make extra for if you can? I thought you finished the shed. Yeah, we have. He's helping me put up a portable yard for Ronaldo. One of us could have helped you. Oh, no, he's just interested to see what happened with the alpacas. Technically speaking. As a farmer. Tess. Go with the manager. Sounds like you sometimes. Why? Because you loved Peter. You really, really loved him and you weren't scared of that. You just went for it. I can't, I don't have the guts. Mum loved Jack so much she thought she couldn't live without him. took pills. I was 11, I remember. 
Sitting there waiting for the ambulance to come, thinking, I'll never let this happen to me. This is true love, I don't want it. Pretty lonely old life. No, it's not. I got you. It's not the same, Tess. It's ridiculous, Alex. In five years, he'd be running one of the biggest horse operations in the country. Bottom line is, Dad, the guy's trouble. Whatever he's offering you, it's not worth it. I wouldn't do it to Claire, right? Where's he going? I got contracts for him to sign. A uh, slight change of plan, Peter. I had a big talk with Alex last night. He's concerned that the time he'd spend training would have an adverse effect on his work here at Kalani, so... So you're pulling out? Well, basically, we can't spare him for the sort of hours you got in mind. Harry, I know you wanted more money, so maybe we no, can no, come it's, to... No, it's not about money. Frankly, given recent events between you and Claire McLeod, I can't in all conscience get involved. Alex feels the same way, so... Uh, sorry about that. Hope you understand. Hey, Beck, how'd you work out the dosage for this? Same as always. Yeah, but you know this is concentrate, right? You only need half as much as the old brand. Yeah, I told you, I'm fine with numbers. You go and grab lunch, I'll finish up here. <laughs> yes, ma'am, this leading station hand. God, please don't die. Oh, God, please get up. Please get up. Get up. Please get up. Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, please don't die on me. Please don't die on me. Get up, please. Don't let him die. Please get up. Alex, uh, look, I, I just... Look, I just told Peter Johnson to shove his contract, right? Well, I hope you didn't do that on my account. As if. So if I were you, Claire, I'd get my backside over to Stan Dixon's and remind him who started Brave Joe's training. Well, Peter will find another trainer. Yeah. I don't like his chances there. I mean, I would have had to be in his last choice, not his first. You sure you don't want this? Look, you know, as much as I like the idea of taking that bloke to the cleaners, I figure it's not a real good reason to go into business with someone. Claire, this job's yours. You got it the first time around because you deserved it and you still do. We'll get out there and make it happen. Alex, I'm sorry about what I said look, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, just get over to Stan Dixon's and sort something out, will you? Claire, you have to come now. I've killed all the sheep. I'm so sorry, Claire. I'll pay for any losses, I swear. I don't know how it happened. I I gave them too much drench and I didn't realise that it was concentrate. I can't believe I was so stupid. Are they all right? I'm jumping to get a bet. I'll pay for everything. They're not dying. They're just sick. Really? Yeah. All they need is a bit of time to flush it through their systems. Come on, girl. Happy. Oh, thank Happy. God. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. How did this happen? How could you give them so much? It was a new brand and and I just got the dosage mixed up. Well, you knew it was a new brand and the dosage is written a mile high. How could you miss it? I just... What's going on? I went by the old dosage, the one I knew. I can't read properly. A few words and numbers and that's it. Why didn't you say something? Because how much would you have trusted me if you knew? A hell of a lot more than I trust you right now. Look, mate, I know there's been a few stuff-ups, but uh, AB's a great company, and I promise you it'll be worth it, right? Stan? 
Peter. I heard that Alex and Harry are pulling out of the training. I was wondering if you'd reconsider our previous deal. Claire. Look, if you're not going to fulfill your contract with Stan, he's free to look elsewhere. A new trainer will be appointed. You've been telling him that for weeks. Well, I can't get anyone local. I'll fly someone in from interstate. Look, I'll do the training myself if I have to. I know, Brave Jay. Look, why waste time getting him familiar with another trainer when I can just pick up where I left off? Yeah, and what happens if you get sick? Or you break a leg? Have you thought about insurance? Do you even know if you can get cover as an independent trainer? Look, Claire, you're a great trainer. I wish you'd work for Peter again. That'd solve everything. Sorry, Stan, that's not possible. He's right. You're a one-man operation, so to speak. If you get crook, I'm back to square one. Sorry. Me too. Claire, I just wanted you to know that I didn't mean to lie. So why did you? Because people think I'm dumb. The teacher thought I was dyslexic, but she never did anything. No one cared, and you did. You gave me a chance, and I didn't want to blow it. How did you think you were going to get away with it? Because I've done it all my life. But all the work I've given you... I've... The colours are so I can know which column is which. Jody, help me. You should have just told me. No one's ever trusted me with anything. And I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop feeling important because I never have. And if you're going to sack me, can you just get it over and done with? Claire McLeod. Yeah, thanks for getting back to me. Uh, something I want to discuss with you. Well, I would have got one of the others to help, but they're all busy again today. No problem. Got nothing urgent on. Yeah, except the generator. Oh, that can wait. Ronaldo's going back tonight, isn't he? Sure is. So the portable yard's pretty urgent then. Oh, for sure, very urgent. They're actually not very portable, and they're much heavier than when I picked them up last time. Hey, look, Ronaldo's here. So is Alex. See one. This is a good idea, isn't it? Yep. Shouldn't we be doing something, you know, to make it official? Down the track, yeah. No, I mean... Now. You're going to pull a pin on me, are you, Claire? <laughs> no. Nah. Are you? Not a chance. You right then? Yeah, yeah. Hey, makes you feel better. So we're in this together? You bet. Uh, same place to see him. Shouldn't be any problems then. Yeah, you don't want to have to resort to AI. Apparently that's hardly ever necessary. Our packers are, are quite keen to mate. He sure knows what he's here for. What's wrong with a bit of flirting first? Nothing. But they've got to get down to business sometime, don't they? Yeah, but they look so desperate. Well, some men like women who make the first move. Um, so once my breeding program's in place, I thought I'd look at fibre sales as a sideline. He hasn't even finished with the first one. He's looking at the next one. Yeah, typical bloke. Always got his eye on the next conquest. I don't think we need to watch this, do we? No, we don't want to put him off. So, um... Did I mention the return I was looking at on fibre sales? No, no. What margin are you for in your business plan? Oh, about 20%. Right. Well, you wanted the security that AB can provide. I'm now in the position to offer you that. I'll be providing the finances and security as Claire's business partners, Dan. Now, this has got the backing of Kalani. No, my personal finances. Plus, there is a property we can put up as collateral if needed. We'll go. If I go with you two on this, is this it? Horses, training, contracts. Is this the last time we have to have this conversation? I think we can manage that, Stan. Then you've got yourself a deal. Morning, Stan. All right, then. Let's get started.
Alex, you've had the same idea as me, obviously. Who needs Australian bloodlines? We can just sign stand up ourselves. And we just did. Well, I hope you rung them for every cent you could get. Yeah. Claire and I are very happy with the deal we struck. And no offence, Claire, but we don't need to hire you to do the training. We're not. Kalani didn't get the business. We got it. Claire and I. What? We've gone into business together, Dad. And we're off to a great start, too. Hello, everyone. I'd like you to meet my new business partner. Ryan McLeod Horse Training. <laughs> McLeod Ryan. And eventually we'll be getting into breeding, too. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, well. Since when? Oh. Since uh, a couple of hours ago. But you can't be serious. You can't decide to be partners just like that. There are legalities and contracts and handshake was good enough for me. No, it's not that simple. Why not? Well, what about your business plan? How are you going to split your profits? What about your capital, your security? I mean, I can't see Dad putting up Kalani if Claire's got a share in this. No kidding. That's why I told Stan Dixon you'd be backing us. You what? Well, you told me to get out from under the old man. I took your advice. And you told me to get out there and fight for it, so I did. Yeah, it's a mutiny. And Napoleon! <laughs> Cheers! 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 <clears throat> That's how I learned to read. I don't know if they'll help or not being dyslexic. Don't ask me. <laughs> If you, um, want to borrow the ute one night, go into town to TAFE for uh, an evening class. Yeah, I'll look into it. So does this mean that I'm not... You're not five. Thanks, Claire. I won't let you down again, I promise. You better not. They'll be pretty busy from now on. Need my leading station hand to be on top of things. Got it. Well, who was the uh, stupid idiot that pulled these out anyway? Just shut up and get on with it. Hey, we're partners, remember? I don't reckon that makes you boss. Yeah, well, it doesn't mean I have to do all the work either. Give me a break. Keeping you in line, that's all. Ah, I'll make you eat that, you know it. Yeah? Mm hmm. Just try it. I'm gonna make you eat it! Yes, you're gonna eat it! They heard the good news then. Can I talk to you? Hey, listen, we're partners, right? If you've got something to say, say it to the both of us. This doesn't concern you. It's OK. If you wanted to take a shot at me, why not just slug me in the head? What? You're still in business, straight out from underneath Well, me. you think this is personal. What else is it? I gave up everything for you, Claire. Well, that's not my fault. Well, if it's not what you wanted, how come you turned up in my hotel room last night, I then? I told you that was a mistake. I know revenge when I see it. Yeah, it's payback time, isn't it? And you want me to suffer. I'm not out to get you. And if you think I am, then that shows how little you really know me. Yeah, maybe I never did. Have you want this ugly? Well, it just got ugly. <laughs>